Alright. More enemies spawn here, so let's take them out. Got the item boost, is an ability. See if I can somehow maybe work my way up there. Nope. I was hoping I could like kinda like cheat my way up there with, with uh using my keyblade to maybe like a work my way up there somehow like that, I don't know. Alright. Um took that ability. Probably can't use it because I don't have enough AP for it. Item boost. Um increases effect done with the healing items on the field by fifty percent. Not that worried about it because I think I already have item boost on uh Donald or Goofy? Goofy's got it already, so I'm not worried about it. Another 50% would be nice, but not critical. Alright, let's move around here, see what else we can find. Is this where we started? No, I don't think this is where we started, because we got more enemies here. And we got another chest over here. There we go. Got a serenity shard for that. Okay, now we got a chest over here. Let's open this. Mithril stone. Another chest over there. For a bright shard. And I think... Yeah, we've already been here. So I'll pick up this lucid shard. Now we can head over here. And through here, this should take us where we need to go, right? Uh, nope, this is where we just came from. This is the entrance here. Uh, so we can go this way. And I can grab this. This one's floating around. A duality puzzle piece. We got a new puzzle a du called Duality. Picked up a bright shard. And Goofy's defense just went up. He's level 18. And we got a Mithril shard. This is this is where we need to go. Okay. Underworld Caverns Atrium. A lucid stone. Another puzzle piece. Heart puzzle piece. Alright. Work our way up here around the corner. Jump over here to this platform here. Whee! And get an AP boost. Alright. Alright. Now we head over here and we get a boss fight. Huh? Oh, you! Wait a sec. Roxas? Excuse me? Roxas? Oh, it's no use. Huh? What are you talking about? Let's see here. If the subject fails to respond, use aggression to liberate his true disposition. Right. Did they ever pick the wrong guy for this one? You're bizarre. Oh, he's gotta be the thief! Now that's just plain rude. He cleansed himself of the underworld curse, and now we gotta fight him. But this one is really unusual. We don't fight him. We actually fight these water forms that you see around him. So you want to attack as many of them as you can, and then you get the opportunity to use the reaction command while dance, do so. We have to defeat all of the forms that he can spawn, which I believe is about 90 or 100 of them, within the time limit. The best way to get it to do that is to use wild dance as much as possible. That'll draw, draw, them, in, draw them into a nice tight space, allowing you to use the keyblade on them. Wild dance, bring them all in. And while they're in a tight space, use the, use the keyblade to beat them all up. Wild dance. Down to 37 forms. We're doing fine. I'd like to actually get it to where I have less time on the or less uh, less forms than I have time on the clock. 23 forms, still 37 seconds. I'm doing real good now. I have way less forms than I have time on the clock, which is really good. Move them all in. 13 forms left. Oop, heal, heal. It wasn't taking that much damage. Wow, okay. It was doing fine. 12 forms left. Right, bring them all in. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. There we go. And Sora's max HP increased. And that's how you beat that boss. Uh, ooh. Roxas, come back to us. Guys, 
guy's a broken record. Damn work! And now we're cleansed of the underworld curse. Let's go. Meg needs our help. Huh? He's back. Not you again. Ah, oh, don't be like that, especially when I'm here to tell you about something even better than the Olympus Stone. Absent silhouettes, shadowy presences of those who were slain. Absent silhouettes, like the title of that book. Exactly, though they come in all different shapes and sizes. The item belongs to its owner, who is now nothing more than a shadowy presence. But you can still fight them, of course. And as you do, it'll slowly awaken the real you. What are you talking about? You're the hero. You figure it out. What is that anyway? An absent silhouette. You'll have to save that for later. First, we have to rescue Megara. Let's go. That was obviously a final mix only uh, cutscene there because it was regarding the absent silhouettes, which I, don't, I may have not have said this earlier. We saw the absent silhouette, which was that book that first time we were going, heading towards Hades place before we actually picked up Warren. Um, the, those are final mix only battles, in case I didn't say that before. Um, you're not going to be able to find those fights in the original PS2 version. Olympus Stone, all right. Secret Answer Report 5. And now that we've used the Olympus Stone, our drive bar is available. We can use drive forms. Yay! Oops, I mean, uh, yay! I wanted to jump up and down. All right, let's go into here. This is the lock, Olympus Coliseum. Uh, we've got a point of no return here, so we're not going to be able to come back here for a long time. So make sure you uh, open all the chests in here. Got a cavern's map. Grab this duality puzzle piece. Open this chest here for an AP boost. And now I'm going to say, but before I do, uh, you can tell we need to see Megara's lo uh, logo on that uh, rock over there. So that's where we need to go. But first, I'm going to go in and check our journal and go to the puzzle pieces and see how our puzzle pieces are doing. See what this new puzzle uh, that we got, duality. Uh, we got another 12-piece uh, puzzle. This one, we have to rotate the stick again as well. We got Sora's arm here, so I'll put it here. We got uh, Donald and Goofy looking up, so I'm going to bet that probably goes here. Maybe this goes down here. And that's all we can do until we get some more context. Let's go to the heart one. And we got a couple of pieces here as well. We got Donald holding his staff, so it probably needs to go over on this side. And then we got Sora's foot over here, so probably this one should go here. So I'll bet this one should probably go right there. All right, that looks pretty good. And that's all we got for now. All right, I'm going to throw down a save. Uh, do we have any new abilities? Donald has a new ability. Uh, MP Raid, let's go ahead and equip that for him. That'll be good for him since he uses a lot of MP. And now I'll throw down a save, and then we'll go rescue Megara. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm all suited up and ready to go. We need to now head over here to this thing here. And... This is kind of a point of no return. We'll be able to come back here eventually, but it will be quite a while. So I think I said this a moment ago. Make sure you go ahead and uh, save or, or open all these chests while you can. But for now, we're ready to go to the rescue. Hit the triangle button. Here we go. We've opened the lock. Uh, you could actually, the point of no return is actually here now that we've actually opened it, but I wanted to go ahead and point it out to you. Um, so now if you're ready to go, just jump in the hole. If not, go save, go do whatever it is you want to do, but I'm ready to go, so 
Let's go. And I will be using my drive form here because I do have uh, three drive gauges. Hiya. <laughs> nah, that's what I call a key. Gee, thanks for your help. Now have a nice day. Sora, behind you! <laughs> What's wrong? Can't fight in the underworld? Oh, boo, hoo, hoo! <laughs> Better think again. Charge! All right, this is a boss fight against Pete, but we also have to protect Meg. Fly for him. Pretty much just keep your eye on Meg's gate as she starts taking damage. Find out where she is and uh, do your best to uh, uh, to, to knock any heartless away from her. Whenever he puts that shield up, Pete is obviously invincible with damage, but it's still a big deal. I need to switch away. I need to switch away from him and take out the hardness that are chasing Meg around. Okay, there we go. Come back here, Pete. Now we focus on him again. We got a little bit of health left. Just a little bit more. We got to do. We got to finish him with a finisher. How about? How about? Uh, some, we got to finish him with. Uh... Nope, not close enough. No, come on. Where is it? Blizzard. Okay, why can't we? Uh... Why are we not finishing? What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on here? Why isn't he dying? He's got no health left. There's too many. Sorry, I'm late. I didn't. I forgot that it was, it was actually like a time thing. So it didn't matter how much help you drain out of people. I'll meet you back at the Coliseum. What about you? I'm gonna show these guys what happens when they mess with a true hero. Now wait a sec. Cool. All right. I think we take a second round with Pete here. Sora, I won't leave him. You'll be okay. Look, even Herc has his limits. He can't keep winning forever. Then we'll go back him up. Yeah, here we go. Alright, alongside Hercules as a guest party member that's not really a party member, <laughs> we defeat Feet before the cave collapses. Here we go. Pinball. Alright, what you gotta do there is occasionally, as you saw in this fight here, it's basically the same as before. He will eventually put up a shield and defend himself. What you gotta do is use the, pin, the uh, pinball reaction command to uh, send him to uh, uh, Hercules, who will uh, knock him in the air and break his shield, and then he'll be vulnerable to damage, and then you can kick his ass once and for all. As you can see, there was a timer in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, you had a, about a little over, I think about a minute and a half to defeat, to to defeat Pete, otherwise it's game over. It's not that hard to fight, though, as you can clearly oh. tell. And as you can see, even in the second phase, I wasn't even valid for him, and I still beat him quickly. I think uh, you have that uh, aura, something or another that it was Could called, today possibly get any better? Uh, <laughs> with uh, Hercules using that ability. I think gives you a little bit. Of I think he like uh, grants some of your uh, uh, or some of his god abilities, something like that. Hercules does some of your some of his strength to uh, Sora, so some of your attacks may be a little bit stronger. I think. Well, if it isn't everyone's favorite hero, wash out. You're really blue at this time. No one likes a sore loser, Hades. Can a key boy and let me. 
Nobody likes a sore loser, loser Hades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sticks and stones. Hey, maybe you should check on that Hydra you neglected, you, you neglected to finish off. I hear things are really falling apart up there, champ. Wait! Hate to run, but I've got another little diversion to attend to. Alright. Now that we have uh, finished off with uh, Pete, we are not done with this world. Not quite yet. Uh, let's see what's at the shop real quick. Anything of interest? Uh, I think I've already got these weapons on them. Yeah, we're, due, we're good there. Nothing new as far as items I care about. Uh, synthesis shop. Let's check that real quick. Head over more crafting material. Obtained a mega elixir for completing the collection. Nice. And obtained a serenity shard for completing the collection. Nice. What was our objectives there? Uh, we got the mega elixir for getting 15 types of materials and obtain a total amount of 50 or more. And, okay, all right. So we have, oh, we have 59. Okay, nice. And so now we, so we got a serenity shard for that. That's actually pretty good. All right. Creations. Get into a mega potion of drive recovery free development. We can make a midnight anklet with five uh, mithril shards, one lucid stone, and one lucid shard. Um... I think I want to do that, because not only will that actually give me uh, a Midnight Anklet, which is actually really good, uh, but it will actually level up my Moogle, because it requires 15 experience, or it, it gives him 15 experience, and he only needs 12 to level up, so I'm going to do that. Let's make one of those. Increases Dark Resistance and greatly increases Defense. Nice. Information. Moogle leveled up. We can use bright uh, brightness and energy materials when, using, when synthesizing items. Very nice. Now, what those are, the bright energy uh, items they're talking about, those are the items I was referring to just a little bit uh, when I was talking about the synthesizing before. Now that we've leveled up to level two, whenever we make an item, uh, whenever we synthesize an item, we can create these items using one of these items down here at the bottom, the bright stone or the energy stone. I can't show you an example right now because I don't have enough of any to show you. But uh, let's say, for example, I was making, I was going to make a mega potion, and let's just say, for example, that I had enough mithril shards, power shards, blazing shards, and lucid shards to make one. Just, just for an example, as you can see, it requires three mithril shards, one power, one blazing, and one lucid shard. Now, if I were to click mega potion, it would bring up a list of uh, of options that I could use to use one of these either bright stone or energy stone by using a, I believe it's the bright stone. Uh, added to the, uh, which are, these are completely optional, by the way. Using a bright stone would cut the amount of required in, um, uh, materials in half, which in the case of this here would cut it down to th three to two. And of course, it, would, it, it also, it rounds it up. So if it cuts, if it cuts the amount of materials in half and it's a, uh, it's not an even number, it'll round it up to the next even number. So in the case of the mithril shard, it'll cut three down to one and a half, which is rounded up to two. So if you were to use a bright stone, you would only need one lucid shard, lu lucid shard, blazing shard, and power shard, which again, cutting those in half would only make them half a material each, which obviously rounds up to one. So you're not going to get any, any benefit to those there but it will cut the three down to two. So you'd only need two mithril shards and one of each of those other ones. With the energy stone, what that does, that allows you to, in, I believe that increases its rarity. So um, I'm not sure what the mega potion would turn into, but the uh, item rank where says item rank is B. If you were to add an energy stone to that, you would still need the same amount of uh, uh, materials because it doesn't change the amount of materials required, but it will increase the rank to a rank A item, which I'm not sure what the mega potion would be, but let's use the drive recovery as a better example because I can tell you that for sure that using an energy shard while using a drive recovery would turn it into a high drive recovery, which is a B rank item. Is this is a C rank item? Um, and there's one other type of shard which we don't have uh, any of right now or I don't have access to yet. Um, I believe it's called a serenity, uh, serenity items that when you use that as far as part of the, of the, as part of the crafting process, it actually increases the number the amount of experience that you'll gain for the Moogle. So if I were to use this try recovery again, for example, use that synthesis item or that, uh, serenity item I told you about, it would actually, I think it doubles your uh, experience to go from 16 to 32 experience when you build that item, which is nice. So it's a really good way to help uh, boost your Moogle's experience. Okay, as far as that item that we just got, though, I do want to go ahead and take a look at it. 
I have the Sardonyx Ring on me. And that was a Midnight Anklet, which as you can see, boosts my defense by three points. While three points doesn't seem like much, again, the, uh, the as small as your, your stats are throughout the game, three points is a big jump. And increase my dark defense by 20%, which is nice. Which means I'll have 20% elemental defense across the board, fire, blizzard, thunder, and dark, as well as three extra points of defense, which is really, really good. Actually, it's a total of four, four boosted defense points because of the Abyss chain here as well. Also gives me one more point. So I got a total of four extra defense points here, which is really good.